This is the Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition in 37mm, and this is it in the 41mm. And I really, really like these two watches. I'm a bit late on reviewing these. These have been out for about two months now. I've watched and seen so many of the reviews, and after being hands-on, I definitely agree with some of the reviews. <laughs> This is my first time reviewing a Hamilton and being hands-on with one for an extended period of time, which feels very overdue. I got these on loan from the fabulous people over at Hamilton. They were kind enough to loan these to me so I could spend some real time with them. So thank you so much to the fabulous team over there. And here's the eight things you need to know about the new Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way. Looking at the 37 millimeter variation, which is the variation I would buy if it was me and my money. This watch has a case size of 37 millimeters, a thickness of 10.4 mil, and a lug to lug of 43.5 millimeters. These both have 100 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal, loom, and the same movement, the Hamilton H10. But more on that in the next section. Now looking at the 41 millimeters, this has a case size of 41 millimeters, a thickness of 11.5 mil, and a lug to lug measurement of 48 millimeters. On the wrist, it's the 37 millimeters that has stolen the show for me. I think it looks absolutely perfect on my five and a half inch wrist, and here it is on my husband's seven inch wrist as well. I love the bracelet, sporty and rugged feeling. Yeah, this is exactly my kind of watch. And now looking at the 41 millimeters, and that's actually the one I'm wearing right now. Here it is on my five and a half inch wrist versus my husband's seven inch wrist. I think it looks absolutely perfect on him and a bit too large on me, but I don't hate the sizing. It almost feels like an obnoxiously large pilot's watch or something on me, and I don't hate it. Depending on how you like your watches to wear, I'd recommend the 37 millimeters for a six and three quarter inch wrist size and smaller, and the 41 millimeters if your wrist is larger than that. But you know, there's a lot of nuance in it. I'm wearing the 41 millimeters right now. I kind of love it. Here's the 37 millimeters on my husband's wrist. And I think it looks awesome on him. I think it looks just right. So it depends on you, your personal preferences, how you like your watches to wear, and your wrist shape, etc. <laughs> So as I said before, these are fitted with the Caliber H10 automatic movement, but what does that mean? So according to Revolution, this movement is manufactured by ETA for Hamilton. It is based on the ETA C07611 and part of the ETA Powermatic family. These watches are very simple, no date complication, just a clean three-hand sports watch but the H10 can be used with or without the date. The H10 has 25 joules and 80 hours of power reserve. Design-wise, these are so Hamilton. You can definitely tell it is in the khaki field family with the dial layout, but this watch is still very unique and stands out in the catalog. I'd describe the design language as very utilitarian with a completely brushed case, broad hands, large numbers. If you like legibility, this is the watch for you. And it has a 60 click bi-directional bezel, but more on that in the next section. I specifically requested these two because I wanted to see one on the bracelet and what the bracelet quality was like, and one on the strap. But I personally almost always choose the bracelet version of a watch if it's available in a bracelet, and I would do the same with these. Okay, so the next section here. How do you use this? <laughs> So you will notice on the bezel it indicates northeast, southwest. That's because this is a compass bezel, which is a really unique function that I've personally never used before. So if you're in the northern hemisphere like me, you will use the bezel to find south. So keeping the dial level, you will point the hour hand in the direction of the sun. Then set the S or the south on the rotating compass bezel to the middle point between the 12 o'clock hour marker and the time shown by the hour hand. Now it should be known this is just to give a rough indication of direction. Don't use this if accuracy is crucial. Honestly, I can't see myself ever using this for its intended functionality. The most hardcore exploring one could do in the UK would still place you about five miles away from a village, whatever way you walked. <laughs> I don't think I've actually ever used a compass. <laughs> so the stakes are pretty low for me, but I do think it's a cool party trick. 
Now, if you follow my channel, you know this is always my favorite section. I just think people really underestimate how important straps and bracelets are to the overall wearing experience. As I said earlier in the video, if it's me and my money, it's the bracelet version all day, every day. This is fantastically done, incredibly rugged, completely brushed oyster style bracelet, leading to the Hamilton clasp. The clasp is good, with my only complaint being that there's no on-the-fly micro adjustments available. To make micro adjustments, you just have to pop a tool into the wee holes on the side of the clasp and adjust accordingly. Something that is worth noting, the bracelet variation is only available on the black dial. Now, looking at the 41 millimeters on the strap, this strap is just lovely, really well finished in the stitching. I do find it a wee bit stiff, it is thick leather, but I would also say that's not something unique to Hamilton. I find this with many other brands that it takes just a little bit of time to break in the leather straps. On the whole, it looks lovely. I love the color matching, two thumbs up. One other thing I need to point out is I feel like these were made to be strap monsters. These on a NATO, on more leather, on a rubber. I feel like these were made just to be strap monsters, and they have 20 millimeters lug spacing, which does lend itself to that. Okay, this is one of the areas that I have heard complaints in, the price, and I get it. When you say Hamilton, the first watch that comes to mind for me is the Khaki Field Mechanical, which is currently priced at 545 pounds, which has gone up quite a bit as well, but yeah, that's my first thought, and these are priced quite a bit steeper, but I don't think the price is unfounded. So both of these sizes are priced the same, which is something you don't see very much in the watch world. On the bracelet, these retail for £1,035, and on the strap, it's 965 So for less than £100 more, you can get the bracelet variation. Now, would I prefer the price to be cheaper? Of course. Who doesn't love saving money? But I just think these are well priced for what they are. The brand value of Hamilton, an automatic movement, 80 hours power reserve, unique functionality. I think these are accurately priced and they're worth a thousand pounds, in my humble opinion. If you're a real Hamilton collector and enthusiast, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. I'm just an internet bozo who insists on giving the world my opinion. <laughs> And last but not least, gripes. I never like complaining, that's why I've tucked this section away at the end, and I don't have too many complaints with these, but I do have three little gripes. Number one, the crown kind of feels too big on the 37 millimeters. I don't know if anyone else feels like this when they look at it, and there's not a lot in it, just something proportionally stands out about the crown on the 37 millimeters. But maybe that's just a me thing. Number two, the display case back. I don't know why I am the way that I am, but I just always prefer a closed case back. Almost always. Your case back preferences will be unique and personal to you. I know some people love seeing the inner workings of a watch, and I get it, but for a sporty, hard-wearing watch, I'll always choose a closed case back. And my final complaint, the lack of on-the-fly micro-adjustments, but that's something you'll even get on far more expensive watches like the Tudor Black Bay 58. All right, my personal thoughts and opinions. This watch is dope. <laughs> I really, really like this watch and I think I'm gonna buy a 37 millimeter on the bracelet. Half of me is like, Brittany, do you really need another black dial watch on a bracelet? No, but I wouldn't say watch collecting is a very logical hobby anyways. So let's not ask questions and just do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. If you're someone who likes hard-wearing, tactical sports watches, this is definitely one to look into. I'd kind of love to see the white dial on a bracelet. That could be awesome. But yeah, big fan. I'd love to know all your thoughts and opinions on the Hamilton Khaki Field expedition in those comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't, and let's thank the gorgeous, fabulous Pope Tier patrons. Ooh, Merry Christmas, patrons. Ooh, Merry Christmas, Pope to patrons. Yeah, the names that you see on the screen are the amazing people who support this channel through my Pope to Patreon. Thank you to all the names on the screen.